So today um, we're doing the maze, right? So we have got our maze system. <laughs> <laughs> oh right okay this is our so this is this is mode 2 yeah where we only see part of the maze right uh, let's see what else we got so ah right so that's mode 2 and we've got then just as a recap so this is ooh So this is the easy mode, yeah. And so we put a timer on, and it's and it's cr accurate as well because I was messing around with it when we done it. I've also speeded the man up a bit. I don't think I'm going the right way there. I think I should have gone down. Hang on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I could be going the right way. Yep, so that's easy. You've just seen medium. And then the what we was messing around with was then this one. So where we had um I can't remember how we acti activated it. I know it's this, isn't it? And I think we remmed all this lot out, didn't we? Except for that. I think we rammed it all out. So if I press F6, does it work? Yes. So this is the maze. Yeah? So it's it's moving. So as you can see, it's moving along. Now we've cleared out the screen. So what I, what what I want to do today is I want to make this controllable by us and also where we can um, move move around because at the moment we're supposed to be located here in this dot here and so we need to be able to scroll up past the maze. And I'll go scroll left and right and down past the maze so we can get the four corners. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen um, today. That's what we're going to work on today. So we need to be able to. Um, let's put this back in. So we need to be able to. Uh, da, 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 what can I do? What can I do? Right, let's rem out this lot because that's just moving it uh, da, 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 draw window board oh we'll leave that in because that's drawing the window border and this is where it's drawing yeah this is where it's drawing in the window so we need to go back into our our maze window and we need to now work out how we can extend it so when we go into the corners um, we will be able to then just see the corner yeah but everything else would be black because at the moment it's just showing the maze, uh, the maze in the window but we, we're not going to be traveling inside the window we're going to be fixed in the center and the whole thing's going to move around us. Yeah. So what we need to do, and this is, this is what I was thinking I might have to need, uh, have to do is we have got our corner, which is zero, zero. Yeah. And then we've got the other corner, which is 39, 24. Something like that. So what we need to do is we need to, we've got a, t I think it's a 10 by 10, isn't it? It's a 10 by 10 window, yeah? Uh, where 
is it? Cell size, yeah. I think cell size is 10 by, uh, 13 by, right, so that's a 13, 13 wide by 13 down. So that means the interior is 11 by 11, which means we've got a center point in the middle, which is six, five, six, five. So yeah, five, one, five. So it's the sixth element. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are, we, we have to tweak the mathematics to allow us to um, draw the um, the back the the black bit, but then um, work out the oh work out where we are in the map, and then draw that. God, it's all complicated. Complicated, complicated. So, right, let's see if we can figure this out. So, draw, 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 draw. That's drawing window. Draw window maze. So, this is where we're going to draw the maze. So, I've got to, I've got to familiarise myself with what I did because I can't remember. Ah. So we're running through. Okay. Right. <laughs> Someone's been shouted at. So, if we're going to be, if we're drawing it that way, so what we need to do is we need to zero zero when we're in the top top corner. Yeah, we need to be able to be. Um, I think we're not zero zero, is it? It's one one. I think the first one, isn't it? I think it is. Hang on. Where do we put the setup maze for start? Okay. Here we go. So we are in Yes. So so our top corner is one one, but our entrance is zero one. On our exit, where are we? Where's the exit? Where did I put the exit? Ah, there it is. So the exit all oh, right, so the exit is our maximum x, but y minus 1. Is that right? I'm sure I've got these dimensions the wrong way around. I'm sure I've got these dimensions the wrong way around. So what we'll do is we're going to draw, we're going to draw the maze from zero zero, right? And we're going to draw it all the way down to max maze max x maze max y, and that should cover the whole thing. So anything below zero zero in both directions, left and up, got to be black, and anything above max x y and max uh, max x max Maze max Y, that's down that way, and Maze max that X, which is that way, it's got to be black. So the, the way I was thinking of doing it was to alter the coordinates for drawing the map. Yeah, because we actually draw the map here. We don't go off anywhere. Where are we? Here. We don't go off anywhere. 
we actually do it here. This is drawing the map, this bit here. So what I was thinking was that if we have the area, our staging area, so we've got to think like Hunchback, right? Our staging area is going to be five columns uh, bigger in that direction, five columns bigger in that direction, five rows bigger in that direction, and five rows bigger in that direction. So that's our staging area. And then we have a delta that tells us where we are on the map. Now we don't need to we don't need to have a delta like we do in Hunchback because Hunchback is moving within the confines of the screen. So we, as soon as we hit a certain point, that's when we start scrolling the back the, the stage behind him. And same in the other direction. But he's still moving and that's why you need a delta. Here we are fixed. Our point is right smack in the middle of that window. So we don't have any sort of delta. We know exactly where we are. We're not moving. So we're going to move the maze around us. So how we're going to achieve that is we're going to loop um, through the Y from 0 to max Y plus 10. Yeah? And then we're going to loop through the columns from 0 to max X plus 10. Yeah? And what we're going to do, we're going to test both X and Y. Are we less... Are we less than our um, map stage in place, which would be the start would be 5, 5, and the end would be max x plus 5, max y plus 5. So if we're outside of that area, put a space. Or in, in terms of the row, put a, you know, put a, um, just mo move to the next row. Because what I'm going to try and do is I want to wipe out the background so we don't have to think too much about putting spaces in. We're going to have to put spaces in in the extremes of the X. But then again, we don't have to. Mm. But what I want to do is be able to clear the, 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 the screen area out. So what we need to... So I'm just wondering... I haven't got a cleaner anywhere. No, I haven't. So we'll, we'll write. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so that's our screen location there. Right, so we need... Well, I don't need the screen location because I know where it is, don't I? Draw border, that should tell me where it is. <laughs> oh, I'm going to regret putting that matrix up, aren't I? <laughs> right. So, where am I? Where are we doing? Where are we doing? Um, oh, right. So. Let's copy this. Do I blank it out? No, I don't. Right, so this is draw window border. This is clearing. Right, so uh, that's adding left X.
Hmm. Where's left X? Right, that's there. Okay. So we need to we need to tell it where the left corner is. So. So. All right, mate. We'll see you in a bit. Don't work too hard. Um, right, so we need to um, so we don't need to do that because that's the top so we need to add another row I think so top Y increase Y so that moves us down one so we don't need to do that. We start with that. Load 32. Store it. Forget the border. Uh, forget the... Um... Oh, do... No, nah, we'll do the colour as well. So what we what we're going to do... What we're going to do the colour... Do I need to do the colour? Nah. Don't need to do the colour because we're going to be setting the colour uh, when we draw the maze. So we'll forget the colour. Just concentrate on the screen. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. So we're just concentrating on the screen. So. So we start at zero, fill in there to um, cell size. Yeah, that should do it. So then we see what we're doing here. Add to the next row. Inex. Right, so that is loop. That is filling the the row in. Then we, when we hit it, we add forty. Increase x is x a same to that? No, it isn't. Go back to here. Do it again. Right. So we don't need to add that forty, and we don't need to do all that. So that should clear the window out. So let's just try it. So we're drawing the mate, drawing that, and then we're going to do JSR maze window dot clear it, and then we're just going to jump to here because I just want to see that it's doing it right. So F6. So we draws the maze. We draw the outline. Ooh. Have we got a clear screen in there somewhere? Oh yes we have. Yes we have. Let's get rid of that. Right. So clearly I've got my dimensions 
The wrong way. Oh, I know why. Oh. I need to do that again, don't I? There we go. Right, so that's one, one, right, okay, it's one too close. So we are, first of all, one too close, so, um, so the best, th the best thing to do is iron X, store it into left X. I should sort it. That should keep the line on. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. So we've got the clean, the cleaner now. So we just now need to work out our how to draw the matrix, the the maze. So, um. We need to, I think we're going to have to send in the maze, I think we're going to have to send in the maze coordinates. So we've done with that. And we're done with that. So it's this. And I, oh, we, we are sending in the maze coordinates. Top left, right. So, um, right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We need um, another. We need another set of um, things. So, um, have we got any more storage? So, what are we using at the moment? One and two, three and four. Right. So we'll use five and six. Right, so this is this is our coordinates of where we are in the maze. These will be our coordinates for our staging area. What did I use the border for? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I wonder if it's this. Hang on, I've just got in mind. Are we setting in? Do we set inside? No. So where am I storing that? Oh, hang on. Is that our... No, that's our top window, isn't it? That's where we are. 
Okay, so that's where we are, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm wondering if this is... Right, okay. I'm not sure if I need them. I'll leave them there. So this is, I think this is where we are. And this is where our stage, this is going to be our staging area. Right, so if we're in zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. No, that's, yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do the same for I and Y one, two, three, four, five. So if we're right, so if we say we're zero zero in the map, but in our window we're actually five five. That's where we are in the map. So we've just got to keep top left. Border, border Y and border X with left X in sync. So we use, so we are going to go LDY top Y. I think Aston's playing up. Right, this is setting up our maze point. This is where setting up where we're going to look. Yeah. But we're not going. This is setting our screen location. Right, it's here. So. We can set that here. Set our initial initial point. So let's do this. Um, right. Let's get rid of those two. So that's setting our initial maybe 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 no 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 come on John that's not right this if we're at zero zero Yeah, okay. So our starting point. Oh, come on, John, think. <laughs> oh, dear. Aston's in trouble. Um, so we've got to... We've got to work out where we are initially. Oh, come on. I thought I had this working in my head. <laughs> Hang on. Let's do this. Pos X, pos Y is the actual position. Maze X, maze Y is where we are in the window. So 
So that has to be plus five. Um, so therefore, if we add Do we need to know Ooh. I thought I had this worked out in my head. Because we need to start minus five, don't we? Zero zero is there, minus five is there, but we need to offset everything positively. So if we're at 10, we start at 5. Oh, I had this all worked up in my head. I thought I had. Now I've just talked myself out of it. Just bear with me a sec. Right, so that's our start position because if we're at if we're at ten comma ten, then 
we're going to be adding five to make us go there. So that's our top corner. So these need to these need to start there. But what we need to do is on um, this. Ooh, hang on. No, that's top Y, isn't it? There we go. Well, that's drawing on the screen, isn't it? Yes. Needs to be zero. This needs to be zero. Oh, it's getting complicated. Let me rethink this again. We work our array location. Our screen location is exactly the same sort of, is exactly the same sort of place. So, um, think. This all worked out. Oh. oh dear. We look there. So we need to we need to um, we need two variables for our stage. So if we're at zero zero, then our stage location is five five. But the start point is zero zero. If we're at six six, then it's one one. Our staging. Oh, come on. It can't be that easy. No. Need to put the delta in. So we start at Y whatever and X whatever. Run through. But we're always five behind in both directions. Okay. So, um, I 
Right, so let's put some comments in. So that's our actual location, our actual maze location. This is our, this is the stage location. Which will always equal the actual X plus five. Woo! Caps, 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 caps. Right. So that's our stage location. All right. So therefore, our board, this here, is our um, window. Uh, left most X and this is our window top most Y okay right so we're saving that and then we're working out our stage in place now our border location is our border location is our actual location god that makes it that sounds really complicated but it's not so i need to copy that and put that there i need to copy that and put that there so our border location is our location our start point yes it's our start point okay right so um Right, so um, we work out our maze location, we work out our window location, that's our window location, and now we are starting our, that's where we're starting from. So this is our Y, so this is going to be border Y. Now our border X is this, but we are, how can I put this? We are not using, see you later mate. Um, we're not using Y for the column because we're starting at zero. So we can't do that. So what we need to do is, right, we can use this. So border Y, CPY five. Or is it six? No, it's six, isn't it? Means I'll change these. So we load that if if branch if K 
carry clear. Are we less than that? If we are, we need to jump to here. Because we're not going to draw anything on that row because it's less than our start point. If it's greater than six, then fine, we can start, um, we could start um, doing the row, doing the, the, the rows. So here, we need to load load x with border x now. Same thing again. Cpx six branch if carry clear to here. Now we're using X on here, we're not, we can't use X. So here we are going to increase border X. So we're going to increase it. And uh, da, 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 da. increase y goes past goes back here. Lowest border x in again. Compares it with six. Fine, it does it. Now, what we need to do is we then need to test cpx. Oh, this is going to be fun. How are we going to do this? Um, Oh, it's not in there, is it? Do we set the maze size? Yes, where's that? here right okay so we need to then check um, how we're going to do that We're making the may size variable. We're not using staging location. I don't think we're using staging location. I don't think we will be using it to be honest. Right, I don't think we're using that staging. So we can use it for something else. I was, I was thought we might use the staging location for um, where we're putting the, 
the thing on the screen, but we're not. So we can use it instead to be... Um, So it's actually uh, max y plus 5. Right. So let's get this right. So LDA um, Oh, come on. Why not include? Yeah, I've included it. Why are you not coming in? Is it five or is it six? Um, five. Doesn't like game storage, does it? Oh, it's storage. Plank, 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 plank. Right. Now we've done that. Can get rid of that. Can get rid of that. So we're going to use this to test where we're at the bottom of it. So we're going to compare. So we're in border. Well, we border X. So we're in X world. So that's going to be this. So compare it with that. Branch shift carry set. To here. All right, let's just think this through. So if we load our border in, uh, Right. We need another one. We need another need another variable. Um down here. Because we're destroying X, so we don't know where what we're doing here. But then, do I need to use X? I can use A, can't I? Because I'm not doing anything. Okay. Um... Oh, 
Oops. Right. Let's just work this out. Do we go back here? Right, this is the outer loop. So we need to have that in there. So we'll do LDA, the border. Compare it with six. If it's less than, go to the next row, which is down here. So here we can do um, ink border Y, so that will increase that. So when we come back here, we load it in, test it again. All right. And then we do CMP with the staging bottom. Branch you can carry set to the same place. Right. That works. So here, we're doing it there. Right. So LDA with the X. Compare. Compare. Now that should bypass all this lot to here. Increase border X, increase Y. Is it the same cell size? Work out the new record, increase border Y, increase X. Is it, right, that, that should work. That should work. Now, to test it. What we need to do. All right, let's rem all this. Well, I don't. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna hurt us in any way. Right. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. This through a fat, this one through a, because that's our start point there. Right, because that's, is that, yeah. So we're, we're, our X is a bit off. And the reason why it's a bit off is because we are not storing our initial value. Ah. Um. We're overriding border X. And we can't. Because we need to reset border X here. But we can do that because we can go, before we do that LDY, we can go LDY um, That'll do it.
So we'll put, do that instead. First time through, it initializes it. Right. Let's see if we do it. We, so we should have a corner. Oh, look at that. Is that right? Is that right? It doesn't look right. Poo. Um... Where is that? That's meant to be zip. Mm, that's not right. Pants. Right, let's just work this out. Maze pointer. Works out the maze array. Okay, so that works out our maze array pointer, and then we use Y after that. And our maze array is still in sync. Okay. Um, let's put a breakpoint in there before we, we get to it. Right. Right, so it is clear. So we're loading point. So we should be loading this point here. This is one one, yeah. Oh, hang on. That's not right. That don't, I don't think that was right. Oh, load maze X. Yeah, add five, store it away. Just had a thought. Yes, right. Just had a thought. We need to move that. And put it there. Because when we calculate the new row, we're actually adding to the uh, maze pointer and we don't want to do that because we're, we're, we're trying to skip. Right, 
Let's try that again. Right, so I'm going to... Oh, it's there. That's where it's jumping. Right, F11, go. Does that look right now? Oh, it's just out. Right, this, this section here, is here. So, um, so where we are copying from there. So we're doing five five. So my calculate my calculations is not right. I mean it's done it for the it's done it for the Y, but it's not done it for the X. Right, let's find out why. X, Y. Oh, I see, I see. I see. I see what the problem is. Right. The problem is we're increasing Y. And we're using Y here to get the... Um, to get the maze pointer. So we need um, because they're not going to be in sync. Uh, okay, so um. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? So we need another, need another variable, need another variable. How am I going to do that? Because um, that's going to have to be reset, isn't it? Okay, let's do LDY. So it loads maze Y offset, and this is the screen Y offset. So I need to here.
Well, before I go into that too far. Right, let's see. What do you mean you can't see that? There. All right. Then. How about that? Okay. Right. So, um, so. Once we've done that, we do ink maze y offset. So that moves that on one. And here, we store it. And we'll shuffle that on one. So here we do LDY screen Y offset because that's the one that we want. That's the important one. CPY if it's not loop back round. Right, let's see. Come on. Oops. Oh, it's too big. It's too big. The jump's too big. Um. Is it? Oh, yeah, all the way down there. Okay. And that's going all the way up here. Um, what we can do is... Yeah, okay, let's grab this. So I'll grab all this. that oh it's already there anyway okay so here we get the character and then we do a JSR um, what did I call it 
Oh, determine. Put curly brackets around it. complain about that that's okay Right, that will determine the character and then we just can get rid of all this now and put it there. Nice. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Right, so we should see the top corner. Right, F11. Oh, our reset's not working, is it? Our reset's not working. Ooh, I've got that in there. Shh, don't, can't have that in there. And in fact, we can do this. Don't need that now. Right, so why is it screwed our thing up? Let's have a look. So when we go in, initialize. Oh, I didn't set. I didn't set the left, did I? So that's the maze. So that's this here. What? Oh, yeah. Right, see if that does it. We'll get there in the end. Get there in the end. Oh. Where's that? Right, okay. So that's there. So here is the top row. Here. So it's filling in the top row and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. ASP. It should be starting there. So our test is not working. So uh, this test here. Because if border X is less than six calculate next colon 
Oh, I see. I see. Right, we can't have that there. Got to have that there. Oh, is that right? Oh, look at... Hang on. So that's... That should be that point there. So is that right? That's not right, is it? Rats. We should be there. That's the centre. Well, one off. Rats. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, hang on, we're one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh oh. Right. That is troublesome. That is troublesome. Right, let's sort the blank, blank out first. Let's get that right. So we are going one too many. So, minus one. So that, sh that should sort that out. And the draw... Uh, Draw border needs to do minus one as well. Uh, where, 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 where is it? Here, minus one. Right. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Did I have. Is it. Is it thirteen? No, it's supposed to be eleven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, middle. One, two, three, four, five. Edge. Right, so I have got I've got my I've got it wrong. Have I I'm there. Let's put that back. I've probably got it wrong, like always. Right, let's do it again. Let's work. Did I do? Did I make it thirteen by thirteen? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right, so it's thirteen. That means in the middle is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. We want to be there. That's the centre point. So we're one out. So, not to worry. Oh, let's... Uh, Collapse these. Right, this one. 
Not to worry, we add seven. Seven. And eight. Where's your one? Eight. Now we're too far. And also we're missing that column there. So that's the center point. So we're one too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Right. So we're in the right place, but this for this one here, this here, is showing that column. No, not that column. This one. It's showing that one there. Right, so our reset point Okay, let's just uh, make sure, right Zero and zero, let's just, just check Well, that looks right. That's our entry point there. And this is this is the uh, this is the bit you can't see here, right? This is how we determine that you can't go. So we 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 um So that needs to be there. So, um, X is zero, Y is one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's right. So here, we need that mo to move over. That's what we need to do. Need that to move over. Right. So it was right. One and one. Nice. That point is there. That point is there. So we're right, right, so we're okay on the, we're okay on the, the row. We're just not okay on our on our on our column. 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. But, but, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one out. We are one out. Why are we one out? I wonder if it was that, because it was in the wrong place. Clearing the window. Determine, don't need to look at that. Let's just make sure. Right, border X int, where's that? Here. See if it was that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we are one. Okay. I made two changes there. So we'll put that to seven again. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh. Okay, that looks right. That is up there. So this stretch is that stretch up there. So we are located there, which is there, which is right smack in the middle of the map. And then this is the start of the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it progress. I'm going to make it progress to about there, and see. In fact, I'll just do it one. I'm going to do it one at a time. So we're going to make it column two, and see if it moves across. Okay. Yep, that's moved across. So column two is there. Right, let's see. Can I, can I? <laughs> can I um, put so? Let's get rid of that. Let's bring him back our our rotator. So I haven't got a break point in there, I don't think now. Now ooh. I can't tell if that's doing it or not. Well it's certainly not clear in the screen for that's for sure. Um, let's put the clear in there. <laughs> and the clear screen's in the wrong place.
Right, so it's not it's not doing it right. It's getting itself all tied up in knots. So what we'll do is we'll put a put a break point there and we'll just run through it step by step. So let's see. Right, that's the initial spot. So we have got The problem is that is there. That is there. Clearly that's not right. Right, the map's moving too. Every cycle the map's moving two. And not one. So we're at two, but the problem is we should see the map here. Why are we not? And also we're missing two. We're actually missing two because this line is there. So we're missing two columns here. Uh. Well, uh, this is the thing we're set. We're sending in the we're sending the X and Y to the routine. So the the, the scroller should be telling it um, we are we're here, and that should be the center point. So in fact, we should be seeing two columns here, but we're not. Uh. Uh. Um, because we didn't do the increase. So what is the problem? Um, border X. I wonder <sighs> Yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking I'm just thinking if I've uh, I know I I'm, I know I re, I'm reusing, but um, see I'm reusing top left and top Y, but we should be overwriting it when we go in. Top left, uh, top Y, to left, yeah. So we're we're, we're overwriting it. So. Um, We're, we're, over, we're definitely overwriting it. Um, I 
we'll step through it. We'll we'll step through it and find out what's going on. Um, so we won't put the breakpoint there. We'll put it there, just so we can see what's going on. Right, so we set up X and Y, and then we now we're going in, so we store it, 08A9, let's have a look. So we've just stored them, then we store 2DX and store it store one okay then we work out the end load x with 70 oh yeah so that's working out our Screen location and at uh, map location now screen location All right so this is where we starting so load X with zero load a with one compare it with seven bypass it so that's that's doing it right. So this is doing the um, the row to four. Right. So we should be getting close. Seven. Here we go. Compare it with, and it's less than, that's fine. Load Y with two, that's right. Load Y with one. Y, oh, 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 eight, A7. Why are we doing that? Oh, now we're doing the now we're doing the rows, okay? So we should be at 2. That's right. Bypass it, go to the next one. 3 4 5 6 Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we're loading one. Why are we loading one? I think that's where we're going wrong. Yeah, I think that's where we're going wrong. Here. Most, yeah, that's where we're going wrong. Get rid of that. I think that's where we're going wrong. Where's the breakpoint? There it is. 
Let's run it again. I think that's where it was going wrong. That looks better. Oh, it's still... It's still going wrong. Rats. Just put the break point there. It's still going wrong. Right, we'll get it to do the first one. Oh, it's cleared it. Oh. I've got the break point in the wrong place. Um, let's put it there. Right, so first time. That is still not right because we're missing this here. We're missing that. Why, 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 why? Why would that be happening? So that is an interesting thought, John. Yes, we are. Right. It's this here. It's this entire section. So we're initialized. Now we need to. Yeah. Let's bring back that. So the maze offset is there so we're loading left X
But are we? <laughs> oh, are we? Um, oh, come on. Um, I think I know what the problem is, right? I think I know what the problem is because we're here, we're adding left X to the zero page. And so that's where it is, two, two um, spots in. But the problem is we're missing the two columns here because it's in two, it's gone in two spots. So we need to... We need to um, can't do that. If um, God, why is this so friggin' hard? Um, It's okay if we start in the corner, but as soon as we move away, we've got to subtract one, so to speak. Um, um, Let's, let's work this out. Right, so left X. If it's greater than six, no, seven. Then we need to subtract. store it here no here If 
if it's Still not right. <sighs> Still not right. It's still buggers it up. Oh, I had I, I thought I had this right at the start of this. Yesterday, when I was working out yesterday, I thought I got it nailed. It's it's the working out the border that's causing the problem. We did the we did the full last time, but it's adding that buffer zone that's causing the problem now. But I, if if we're at two, that means we need to start from two, from um, two in. Um. Right, we initialize it to zero, load it. If if it's less than seven, leave it alone. So we initialize at zero, then it'll initialize it. Right, I wonder if that'll do it. Right, here we go, first step. Well, that is right, but it's in the wrong place. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it is, it's in the right place. Because we, we log, oh, no, hang on. What was our initial x value? What was our initial x value? Two. Now it's three. So twos should be here. So it's in it's it's in the wrong place. Let's do another one. Let's see if it moves. Well, it's moving, and it's moving right. Now it's moving back. Okay. So we can't initialize it to zero. We've got to initialize it to one. Um, not that one. Um, can't initialize it to zero. We've got to initialize it to one. Okay, so let's try that again.
Right, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's, n oh, hang on, we're, on oh, it's two, isn't it? That should be in the centre of the map. Is that in the centre? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's centered that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's centered. Because we, we told it to render the map at grid position 2, 1. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> Stop sending my. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Yeah, I think that's about right. Right, so that's our center point there. So let's let's forward this. So, so let's forward this. Here we go. So that's moved forward. So it's right. So the map is is rendering okay. Now it's going back. Right, I need to get it to do the full width of the map now. So we'll let it come back. So there it is, it's coming back, look. Right. So let's get it to do the, the entire... So I want... So we're saying 26 there. Um, so the map's what? 39... So if I do 39 plus 5, oh no, 39 plus 10, um, it's 49, isn't it? We should then, let's take the break point out, we should then see it go, draw the map, and then go all the way to the edge. And it looks like, oh, oh too far. Uh no, I don't want it to do the game loop. I want it to go back. Oh. Don't want it to go back. That must have been just a glitch. Right, let's try that again. So it should. Oh, have I done it too far? I've done it too far. Done it too far. Right, so it's not 49, it's 39 plus 5, which is uh, 44. Right. Oh, why is it doing that? place I'm sure it is first we change it change that to ink and deck and then that sh yeah it's in the wrong place this is in the wrong place 
That should be there. Right. Right, so that's the top of the map. It's going a bit too far. I don't know why it's going a bit too far. Um, there we go. So that's scanning across backwards and forwards across the top of the map. So let's do it. Let's do it the other way. So I'm going to take that away. I'm going to put it there. And this time it's 24, isn't it? This time, hopefully, it'll go up and down. Oh, that's gone horribly wrong. Yeah, but well, this has gone horribly wrong anyway. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I saw that. Um, let's put the break point there. So that's the first one, it moves over and it's now. Now that's that that's stra that didn't move, did it? That didn't move. Right. So here we go, so let's do it again. Right there, so. I, I'll put that there. And if I t advance it again, it didn't move. It didn't move. Ooh. But then it moves now. All right, let's get it to the end. So there's the end, and then it goes back. Let's see if we can recognize where we're getting to it. Oh. So we're there, fourth. Three, two, oh, right, so that's, here we go. There's the glitch. Does it move one more? No, it doesn't move. That is a, that's a strange one. It, it looks like the screen part of it is handling it, but the map, the map didn't, it didn't move. <laughs> oh, God, it's just so frustrating. Like, So frustrating.
This shouldn't be that complicated. It shouldn't be that complicated. Alright, okay, so. I thought there was a dog in here with me. Um. Why is this so complicated? It shouldn't be. Right, let's I'm going to run through it until it gets to the until we're at the point that we know it goes wrong. Right, it's there. That's where it goes wrong. So let's put a break. So let's put a break point. So it's at seven. Hello, buddy. How are you feeling? Hey? How are you feeling? Hey? You want to say hello to anybody? Hmm? You want to say hello? Hey? You want to say hello? We was talking about you. Hmm? No? No? Alright then. Seems alright. Right, so. Let's put a break point. There. There's no biscuits in there for you. Right, so we're going to run through it and see what happens. So. So we initialize it, then we load it, which is sevens. Compare it with seven. Branch if less than. Oh. Oh. That could be the reason. Right, let's make it eight. Right. Right, there it is. So move it moves along. Oh, it no, that's right, that's right. That's still the edge. One more. Oh, it's moved. Oh, and it stopped there. And then it moved. And that stopped as well. Right, so... There it is. I press it again and it's still there. <sighs> so we'll get it to move and then we'll put a break point. Right. So it's at eight. So we'll get it to go in. Here we go. So compare it with eight. It is eight. Subtract seven. So that's one. On. 
Maybe that should be eight. I've just just wondered. Maybe that should be eight. No, we've got the got that back. Ooh. Why is it pausing for one? Right, so we we send in one as a def, def oh we send in one as a default. Right, okay, so we <laughs> All right, mate. We'll see you in a bit. Ugh. The problem is because we're defaulting it to one, when we are eight, subtract seven, that's one. But the problem is if we do zero, then we get that corruption. So maybe we need to do subtract six. To make it two. Let's have a look. Let's see if that just solves it. Right. Um, right, here we go. So now would be. Oh, he's done it. It's off the screen. Now we've got this. So that's definitely that area there. Right. Um, I wonder is I wonder if it's corrupting because I'm going one too many. Let's try that. That's right. Nope. Right, so that's in the draw routine then, not the not the scrolling. Um So that's this stage bottom Y, stage bottom Y. So we're adding seven. Maybe we should only add six. Because we're subtracting six, so maybe we should only add six. So we know that bit works. There we go. Right. So we're showing it right. 
we're showing it right. Okay, so let's, um, instead of doing one, let's do th th four. So we're going to move it up. And see if we still get the same. So we should have a lot more on it. Right, there we go. So this should be, and it's not. That is not what we're looking at. We are that we are looking at there. So we're looking from that point down. Yeah. So it's it's going two down. So in the same boat as we were with the um, the X. So top Y, I think we're going to have to do the same with top Y. So, um, so we're looking down here when we work out, we're looking at top Y, which is there, and we can't. So, we need to do what we've done here. So we'll do, we'll do that. Call this top and then we'll do the same here. That means that then we are initializing at the right point. Right, okay, let's try that. Let's see if that solves that particular issue. Right, that that's in the right place because we're we're at, we're looking at um, the yeah well what's our initialization point hang on I'm trying to look uh, it was three four wasn't it what was what did we start it off at ah two two four So one, two, so that's, that's our middle point. So we got one, two, three, four. That's right, you know, one, two, three to our middle point. So two, four is there. Then we do three, four. Right, okay. Does that look like it's corrupting anywhere?
No. Okay. Let's do um, six. Right, so our middle point should be there. That looks okay. Right, let's scroll it across. That looks okay. Right. Let's change this like I did before. So we're going to move that. To there. And we are going to say 24. 24. So this should now do it vertically. Right, here we go. So that should go up. So we're so we're looking in the middle there. So that's about that's about there, isn't it? In the middle. There. And then we're going down to there. Now it's going back up. Right, okay, okay. So, um, so we've got it going up and down. And we've got to go in left and right. I think that's the viewport done. I think that's the viewport done. So, um... Can... Can I make it now work with what we've got? That's going to be interesting. Um, right, so it's position, I think it's position X and position Y is the stuff that we use. Pos X, pos Y, let's try it. So, so we're going to change this to do LDX pos X pos Y draw the screen and we'll run this lot out Hello, mate. You found the new... Um... <laughs> right, so... If we... Do you, if you want to know what it does... Do it again. And look, oh, look, look up there. Do it again and look up there.
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So I've linked this now into our position. So, let's see. Right, that's our position. So, if we move... Now, I know it's flashing. Don't worry about that yet. Yeah, I mean, it's following us. It's following us. Maybe I should. Maybe I, sh maybe I should put the color in. But it's flashing and I'm trying to figure, why would it be flashing? If we're not doing the raster. Um, <laughs> right. If this is the raster, why is it... taking so long it shouldn't be taking so long to do this but what I think what we need to do is if I move then do this so let's look in player and right show new player position I think we need to put it in there Yeah, I think we need to put it in there. Um, so if I grab this, just run it out for the moment, and put it in there. Right. Still on the maze, mate. But what we're doing is trying to build the inset window. So, if I do this. Right, so the inset windows that I'm still, still rastering too massively. Um, right, let's move. Right, there we go. So that is being that's following us relative to the window. Right, so what we need to do now is put the colour in. That's what we need to do now. So we can see where we've been. Right, let's get the let's get the colour in there now. So, um, 
So we've got the colour. So we got the colour pointer and the screen pointer. So they're already there, so we can use those. So the way we the way we need to um, do it is um, Oh, right, okay. I like scrollers. So, we determine the maze character there. Hey, Warlock. <laughs> you've, you've, <laughs> you've got up. Am I late or are you early? We're just trying, right, just trying to figure out where to get the colour in there. So this is our pointer. So this is our maze offset. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push that. Because what did I, what did I say? Where's my... Uh, Where's my notes? What did I say? Didn't we say we was going to re reuse this lot? So how how did I um how did I do that? Did I write any notes about that? Hang on. Do, do, do. Where is it? I think. I think it was the high bit, wasn't it? I think it was the high bit. So... So, um... So if I pull here... Oh no, can't do that there. It'll have to be here. Yeah. So if I pull and then um, so it's yellow. Yellow is uh, seven, isn't it? What's red? Red's two, isn't it? Uh, C64 colours. Right, seven. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Right, so if we... Um, branch of minus to um, Just do. Uh, da, 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 make yellow. So 
So restore yellow. Um, if it's not. Right. Right, let's see if that shows where we've been. So it won't be there to start with until we move. Oh, trust me, go down a dead end. Okay. So now it's showing us where we have been. I think I've gone down a dead end. Yes, I have. So what I need to do now is we need to um, put where the oh was it down there? No, it wasn't. I think it's this way. That's working really well, isn't it? What's the matter, What's the matter buddy? Hey, eh? what's the matter? Are you all right? You all right? Hey? You all right? All right. Then. Go on then. Lie down. Lie down. Right. That. <laughs> so we need to put a purple block there where we are and I've got to figure out why it's taking more than the raster oh that is why that's better <laughs> that's better all right So we need to put um, where the current position is, we need to put um, our block. If you're wondering what, what I'm worried about is we, we've had a lot of trouble with Nico for the last couple of days. Um, just to make sure he's all right. Yeah, he's had three fits in the last 18, uh, last, yeah, three fits in 18 hours. So we'll keep an eye on him. Right, so where we are placing, we need to put a, we need to put a block. Now, how am I gonna do that? Because, I need to know, but we can do that, I think, if we test the Y and the X. Hmm. 
Yeah, it is. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. But because because we are, because we we can move the window anywhere we want. Right? So I can't I can't physically say it's that screen location because we could move the we could, the the way the code's written is we could move the screen somewhere the the window somewhere else. So I need to make it so it knows where the center of the screen is, and we use the Y and X for that. So what I need to do is. When it places the color here, we need to CP compare X with um, seven branch, if not equal to that. If it is seven, then we need to compare Y with seven. If y is seven, then we'll load uh, purple, and then we'll store that in the color. Right, that. So we move. Oh, colors in the wrong place. So we are, we are one over. We are one over and No, we're just one over. We're one too many. So this Oh, and one down. We're one too far down. Which would explain, because we're from zero to 12, aren't we? Which is 13, so. Right, move over. So we're in the top corner, okay. There we go. Um, which way am I going? Carry on this way. Ooh. Dead end. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Thought it was dead end. Oh, it is a dead end now. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it is a dead end now. Now that's working pretty well. Um, got a problem with the that it's it's blinking. We're taking way too much time doing all this, but I think we can get away with it. Let's take that um, raster indicator out. Gone the wrong way again. Right, so we, we, right, should be able to, um, should be able to navigate this without having the map on the screen. So if we create another one called hard 2D and for hard 2D, we need to
for hard 2D week. We clear the screen, put the map on the screen, and not initialize the player. But in here, in the player, where we store here, I think it's LF, isn't it? Right, so if we take that out, put that in there. So if we change this to hard 2D, that should activate that. Still have the player going. Still have the controls. Right. Okay, let's try. Right, so we've wiped so we've wiped the screen and all we've got is now our window to guide us, so so that's a dead end. Let's go this way. So you've got to remember, right, that the, the whole point of this window is when they've got the 3D view up, yeah? So they can see a little portion of the map when we're in 3D mode. Oh, am I doing, am I, am I actually going, whoops. Oh, this will be a fluke if I get to the end. Oh, look at that. Get in there. <laughs> get in there. Right, so as you can see, we've got some... We've got some colour corruption going on here. That needs to be sorted out. What's the matter, buddy? Hey? What's the matter? Are you alright? You alright? Hmm? You alright? What's the matter? What's the matter? Okay. Okay. You want wee wees, do you? Alright, give me a second then. Right. So. We've got some colour corruption here, but I think we have got ourselves a working put, uh, view area of the map that we can now use when um, we do the, this bit here, which is the 3D area of the representation of what you can see. So that, I think, we've, we've done all right, seeing as I started thinking, oh, this was going to be dead easy, and it's now taking an entire string to work it out. <laughs> oh dear right so let's just let's just do a quick I know mate we're going I know I know yeah 
Okay, you want to go, do you? All right. Right, guys, I'm going to have to say, well, thank you very much for joining me as Bugalugs here, Nico, is telling me he needs to go out. All right, then. So, thank... <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. All right, take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.